hello everyone and welcome to my channel once again peace be upon you all in today's video i'm going to show you guys how to crochet this uh, simple uh, puff stitch beanie it's very simple and easy to make and uh, we are going to start it uh, we are going to start the beanie from the bottom and then we will work up uh, bottom up or upwards uh, the uh, here are the ripping rounds and then there are the identical rounds which we are going to repeat from here to here and then there are two uh, what you call it decreasing rounds and then um, yeah, I have I will call it I have attempted to make a pom pom I'm not good at all at making pom pom but I tried to make one and then attach it on the top of the beanie uh, it's very simple and easy to make the only thing I don't like about uh, this beanie is that it's made in puff stitch and it eats a lot of yarn <laughs> but it pays off because it looks cozy and warm the, I have already made this beanie um, and uh, but this beanie I'm going to make on camera so let's get started So I will show you guys the length and the width of this beanie. The width of the beanie is approximately 8.5 inches and the length of the beanie is approximately 7.5 inches the yarn I used for this beanie is this one it's crystal yarn by ice yarn and it's crystal yarn by ice yarn and into the 100 grams of the yarn there is 900 meters of the yarn and the crochet hook i'm going to use is four millimeter crochet hook so let's get started i'm going to start the beanie here from the bottom for that what i will do is that i have to make chains The multiple of the stitches which you are going to need is six you can make as many chains as you want to uh, the only thing you have to um, uh, do is that the numbers of the chains should be as many as which can be divided by six the multiple of the uh, chains are going to be six so for that what I'm going to do is that first of all I'm going to make a slip knot like that and then I will make chain for this beanie I'm going to for the size of this beanie I'm going to make 72 chains you can make as many as chains you want to just you have to do the numbers of the chains which can be divided or multiplied by six one two three four five and six i will make rest of the chains off camera and then i will resume the video again so i have made 72 chains what i will do now is that i will slip stitch into the first chain which is this one <coughs> like that <coughs> and now what I will do is that I will make chain 3 1 2 3 chain 3 in this round does not count as our first double crochet so what i will do is that i will make a double crochet into the chain where we have joined and then 
I will make a double crochet into each and every chain double crochet into next chain double crochet into the next chain and double crochet into the next chain this is the pattern I am going to repeat. I will place one double crochet in each and every chain all the way to the end. I am at the end of this round. I made one double crochet in each, in each and every chain. Now I will skip this starting chain 3. This one. Because this does not count as our first double crochet. So I will slip stitch on the top of our first double crochet which is this one like that and then I will make chain 3 1 2 and 3 <coughs> and then I will convert this chain 3 starting chain 3 and this uh, uh, first double crochet into front post double crochet like that and then I will make a back post double crochet into the next front post double crochet into the next back post double crochet into the next this is the pattern I'm going to repeat all the way to the end that I will make front post double crochet into the next and back post double crochet into the next all the way to the end I am at the end of this round I will skip this starting chain 3 and I will slip stitch on the top of our first front post double crochet then I will make chain 3 1 2 3 and I will convert this starting chain 3 and first front post double crochet into front post double crochet like that and I will make a back post double crochet into next back post double crochet make one front post double crochet into next front post double crochet and back post double crochet into next back post double crochet this is the pattern I am going to repeat I will make uh, front post double crochet into all front post double crochets and back post double crochet into all the back post double crochet and I will in the end I will join slip stitch on the top of our first double crochet and then I will repeat this round once more and then I will resume the video again so I am at the end of this round uh, I have made total four rounds on the ribbing this is the uh, starting chains and then I made one uh, round of uh, one double crochet in each and every double crochet and then I made <coughs> three rounds of um, front post and back post double crochet so our ribbing is now completed what I'm going to do is I'm going to slip stitch on the top of our first uh, front post double crochet now I will change the color to lemon color like that and I will cut the gray yarn what I will do now is that I will make chain 3 1 2 and 3 I will then this is the double crochet front post double crochet where we have joined our color what I'm going to do is I will skip next back post double crochet and next front post double crochet and I will place two double crochets into the third stitch one and two then I will go back here the starting um, our first uh, front post double crochet from the last round where we have slip stitch I will place a pop stitch into that 
I will wrap the yarn around the crochet hook and insert into our first front post double crochet. Grab the yarn and pull up a loop. I will do that five times. One, two, three, four, and five. And then I will pull through all of those loops and I will make chain one to secure it. Our first um, puff stitch is ready. I will repeat the pattern by skipping next two double crochets, this one and this one and into the third one. I am going to place two double crochets. And then I will go back. This is where we have placed uh, these two double crochets. We have placed here as well. What I will do, I will go into the same double crochet and I will wrap the yarn around the crochet hook, insert the crochet hook into that double crochet where we have already made these two double crochets. Grab the yarn and pull up a loop once, <coughs> two, three four and five times and then i will pull through all of these loops like that and then i will make chain one to secure it our second uh, pop stitch is being made i will skip next two double crochets this one and this one and this is the third one i will make two double crochets into that one and two and then I will go back into this stitch where we, where we have already placed two double crochets and I will make a half stitch into that one two three four and five times I have pulled up loops and then I will pull through all of those loops and then I will make chain one to secure it this is the pattern I'm going to repeat all the way to the end I will skip next two double crochets and I will place two double crochets into the next and then I will go back into this stitch into this stitch where we have already placed two double crochets and I will make a puff stitch into that. I will repeat this pattern all the way to the end and then I will resume the video. I am at the end of this round and I have two double crochets left. This one and this one what I will do is that I will place a double crochet into our first double crochet like that and then I will go back and make a, a puff stitch into this uh, where we have placed already two double crochets I will place one puff stitch into that like that chain one to secure it and then I will slip stitch into this uh, how can I explain it we have made these two double we have made these two double crochets here and then we went back there and made a puff stitch I'm going to slip stitch into if you just push the uh, puff stitch a little bit down you can see those two double crochets I'm going to slip stitch on the top of first double crochet like that and our first round of the puff stitches is complete so our first round of the puff stitches is complete what I will do now is that I will chain three <coughs> one two and three and then I will turn the work around what I will do now is that I will make 
I have made a chain 3 what I will do is that I will go directly into next available uh, uh, space between two puff stitches and I will place two double crochets into that one and two what I will do now is that I will go back into these two puff stitches the space between these two puff stitches and I will make a puff stitch into that one and five and pull through all of those loops and chain one to secure it what I will do now is I have already made two double crochets into this one so I'm not going to make double crochet into this one I'm gonna skip this space I will go directly into next available uh, space between two puff stitches which is this one and I will make two double crochets into that one and two then I will go back this is where we have placed our first two double crochets here I'm going to make a puff stitch into that one two three four and five and then pull through all of those and then make chain one I will skip next um, space between the puff stitches because we have already made two puff stitches into that and into the next space I will make two double crochets one and two this is where we are going to make a puff stitch when we have made two double crochets here then we will come back and make one puff stitch here and now this is where we have already placed two double crochets like these so I will go back there and make a puff stitch one two three four and five and I will pull through all of those and then I will make chain one and then I will skip this space and I will go directly to the next space and I will place two double crochets one and two this is the pattern I'm going to repeat all the way to the end that I will place a puff stitch I will go back um, uh, what you call it um, clockwise I will go there and then I will place a puff stitch into this space and then I will skip this um, space and I will make two double crochets into the next one and then I will come back and make one puff stitch into this uh, space we, where I have already made two double crochets I will repeat this pattern all the way to the end I have worked my last uh, puff stitch oh, sorry second last what I will do now is that I will make one double crochet into this space where we placed our first puff stitch like that and then I will make a puff stitch here and then there are if you push these stitches of this puff stitch a little bit down you can see there are these two first uh, two double crochets we placed here these are the tops of those double crochets I'm going to slip stitch on the top of our first double crochet and then <coughs> I will cut the yarn and secure the end because I'm going to change the color of the yarn what I will do now is I will join the new color here between these two puff stitches you can join anywhere and then I will make chain 3 1 2 and 3 what I will do now is I will turn the work around and I will go back 
I will go back here between these two um, pop stitches I will there is a space between these two pop stitches I will place a pop stitch into that space like that one, two, three, four, and five. Pull through all of those, make chain one to secure it. I'm going to skip this space because we have already made uh, So I will skip this <coughs> space where we, where I have already uh, made chain three, and I will go next. I will go into the next available space between these two puff stitches, and I make I will make two double crochets into that space one and two. Then I will go back here where I have made uh, starting chain three into this gap into this space i will make a half stitch one three four and five pull through all of them chain one to secure it skip this a space where I have already made two double crochets and work two double crochets into next available space between two puff stitches like that and then I will go back here where I have made two double crochets and I will make a puff stitch into that two three four and five and then pull through all of those loops and then make chain one to secure it this is the pattern I'm going to repeat now I will skip this uh, space this gap and I will place two double crochets into the next here and then I will go back here and make a puff stitch this is the pattern I'm going to repeat all the way to the end and I will resume the video when I reach here I am at the end of this almost end of this round what I will do now is that I will make two double crochets into the next um, available space one and two and then I will go back here and make a puff stitch one two and five it chain one and secure it and then I will slip stitch into the double crochet I will make chain chain three one two and three turn the work around and then I will make this is the first available uh, space between two puff stitches if you go clockwise and then <clears throat> so I will place a puff stitch into that space one two three five pull through all of them chain one to secure it skip this space because we have already made chain three there and then we will when we will come back here we will make uh, two double crochets into that when we will be uh, when we will come at the end of this round so skip this one and make two double crochets into the next one and two and now go back to this space where we have already made chain three go there and make a half stitch there one two three four and five pull off pull uh, through all of those um, loops and chain one to secure it skip this gap and make two double crochets into the next gap one and two this is the pattern i'm going to repeat all the way to the end and uh, then i will resume the video again 
I am at the end of this round and now what I will do is that I will slip stitch on the top of our first half stitch and then I will cut the yarn and change the color into yellow you can join it anywhere in between these two in into the space of two between two what you call it puff stitch like that puff stitches like that and then chain three one two and three turn your work around and then you will make a puff stitch into this what we are going to do is that we are going to repeat our last round as many times as you want to uh, how can i explain it uh, the decreasing points are on the top of uh, the, decre the decreasing points on the top of uh, top are only two this one and this one so you are going to repeat this uh, last round as so i have made the rounds of camera and uh, now we have only two rounds left and those two rounds are going to be our our uh, decreasing round so what i will do is that i will make i will chain three one two and three and then i will turn around and I will go direct into this uh, space and I will make an unfinished puff stitch. One, two, three, four, and five. But I will not pull through all of these loops. What I will do is I will go direct into next available space between the puff stitches and I will. Uh, pull up loops five times two three four five and now I will <coughs> now <coughs> I'm sorry now I will pull through all of these loops and we made and then uh, we will make a chain one and we have made our first uh, puff stitch decrease now we will go direct into next uh, uh, gap which is this one between the puff stitches and I will work one two three four and five unfinished uh, puff stitch I will go direct into next gap next space one two three four and five I have a lot of <coughs> I have a lot of uh, loops on my crochet hook I will pull through all of those loops and then I will chain one to secure it again we will do the same work an unfinished two three four and five loops an unfinished uh, puff stitch and then go directly into next uh, gap there one two three four and five and then pull through all of those loops then make chain one and continue um, repeating this pattern by making a puff stitch decrease over the next two gaps and then into the next two gaps repeat this pattern all the way to the end I am at the end of this round and I will slip stitch on the top of our first puff stitch and I will cut the yarn because we are going to change the color now I will attach gray yarn <coughs> So I am going to attach the grey yarn. You can attach it anywhere into these spaces in between the puff stitches. I am going to attach it 
like that and then I will make chain 3 1 2 and 3 and then I will turn around and what I will do is that I will make unfinished uh, puff stitch into these two spaces so I will 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 and 5 and then I will pull through all of those loops uh, basically I am repeating my last round so I will do it once more on on camera and then I will do rest of the round off camera I will go direct into next space 1 2 3 4 and 5 this is an unfinished puff stitch go directly into next space 1 2 3 4 and 5 and pull through all of those make chain 1 to secure it repeat this pattern by um, making two um, puff stitches together by decreasing into next two spaces by making one puff stitch um, or unfinished puff stitch here and one pu uh, unfinished puff stitch here and then pulling through all of those loops and then making chain one repeat this pattern all the way to the end I have finished the round mm, and I have slip stitched on the top of our first uh, puff stitch I recorded it but somehow I don't know I, I forgot to press the record button or like that but I just slip stitched on the top of our first uh, puff stitch and then I cut a little bit longer tail of the yarn what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to insert this end of the yarn into the beanie like that and then I will turn beanie inside out and then what I will do is that I will thread the needle with the yarn like that and then you will it's very simple and easy you will simply zigzag the stitches like that and that inserting your needle into this uh, these um, gaps we have in between all of the puff stitches like that and then just pull it as tight as you can and then make couple of knots I will do rest of the process off camera so I can save some time and um, then I will resume the video again so my bean is finished I have tried to make a pom pom and attach it on the top of the beanie I'm not good at all at making uh, um, pom poms um, it's very uh, poorly made but <laughs> I just made it I'm, I'm not good at all at making pom poms but still I tried if it were up to me I will buy uh, what you call it hand uh, ready-made pom poms but so my beanie is finished um, uh, that's all I tried my best to be as detailed as I could and uh, to explain everything slowly if there is anything that is confusing or if there is anything you guys did not understand please uh, comment below and I will try my level best to help you guys thank you so much for watching peace be upon you all and happy crocheting 